We're at Urban Field on the north side of Sheboygan, where tonight Sheboygan North Golden Raiders host conference rival the De Pere Redbirds, and they're ranked second in Division Two. Chris, uh, North had a terrible time tackling last week. Uh, they couldn't stop the running game. The strength of this number two ranked team is their rushing game. Doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. And if I was, you know, the Sheboygan North staff, I'd go back to, to last week and see what happened, and I'd start all over. I start with the basics and what, what got us to where we were a little bit successful and doing okay to, to back to what that was and start with tackling again and, you know, just start over and have a fresh start. We got a month left of the football season left. Let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, the first thing that arrives on the schedule is the pier, but hey, you got to play the game. And they got games coming up after this that uh, they, they could have a chance of winning, so you can't uh, let the... Uh, you know, just let go and not not care anymore. You got to give give forth a good effort, and hopefully they'll do that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, De Pere. Uh, I mentioned they have a strong running game. Uh, who are some of the people we can look at? Well, Cole Rungi's their 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 quarterback, and uh, he likes to throw it a little bit too. And and I saw that they have a we saw actually saw their relative Zach uh, Rubis is their wide receiver. He has 23 catches this year. He's a very good good football player as well. And as, as Marty mentioned, they have a, a ground game that basically leads the attack in the uh, conference with that. So so North's got a handful, but I would probably try to stop stop the run first, which is something that North hasn't done very good. So that's where I try to start tonight. Nick Ohuhafi. <laughs> You'll hear his name called quite often. Doesn't quite roll off your tongue like uh, Boris Rest Restavoy. <laughs> Yeah, and so he's averaging 7.7 .7 yards per carry, and, you know, so he's, he's been a load this year for him, leads the conference in rushing, and we love saying his name, too, so we'll have to get that name tonight a couple times as well. I can't remember the name of, I think I do have it down here, Mason Kirby is another guy that uh, we may be calling his name. He's averaging close to six yards a carry. Yeah, that's a lot of yard. If I was up here, I wouldn't even put it up. But as I mentioned, they got a, a nice weapon in Rubis there as well. And Cole Rungi, a senior quarterback, is, is, is a good one too. So, you know, they got so many weapons. But if I was up here, I'd probably just try to pound it all night. Let's talk a little bit about North. Uh, Chris Zablocki has been insistent on uh, having, a, having a balanced attack. Uh, the run blocking just has not been very good, however. No, and... It hasn't, and a couple weeks ago we saw little bits and pieces, and you know when we saw them early in the year, we said we saw that they're going to try to share the ball and still do that, but it just hasn't been very successful. One thing about the pier, though, is they do struggle on defense a little bit. They're averaging almost 375 yards, giving up that much, and their their worst part is their pass defense, and that's one strength that North does have. They have some skilled players out there uh, with Lindau and uh, Spalding, of course Peter Green. So maybe maybe they can can take advantage of the fact that the pier's defense on the passing game has struggled this year. I know one thing the coaches are a little bit concerned about with Bailey Meyer is uh, he really leans on Peter Green a lot and uh, they'd like to see him spread the ball around a little bit. That would actually open things up for Peter then. Yeah, it would. And I would even like, you know, some something a little bit more like when we saw a couple weeks ago and a ball out of the backfield to Ben Miller or something like that. Or maybe a, a reverse, some type of screen or some action. I also liked a couple weeks ago when Bailey was running out of the pocket a little bit more. Last week it seemed like he was too much set in the pocket and South brought blitzers from all different directions and he was kind of caught, caught cold there and, you know, he was bumped and hit quite a few times and I don't think the pier's going to not do the same thing. No, other than getting back to the basics and uh, tackling a whole lot better, what else can North do scheme-wise to try and stop De Pere's running game? Well, they, they got to put, you know, load up that box with eight or nine guys. And, you know, too many times we've heard Dylan Lindau making tackles. That can't be the case tonight. Somehow, some way, the linebackers have got to flush up there. And, you know, the line's got to hold so the linebackers can make the plays. And we'll see if that works here. You know, you're talking about a De Pere football team that's got 56 kids, Marty. Uh, that's just 56 juniors and seniors. South's just got 10. You know, if things are going to change, we talked a little bit about youth in Sheboygan a week ago. You know, that's some of the things we need to do is for North to be successful and South to be successful, we need both programs to have 56, 60 kids on the team, and that's what DePierre has.
And that could take us back to what we talked a little bit about last week was a co-op team, but uh, let's not go there this week. Uh, we've got about five minutes before kickoff. I do want to mention, stick around at halftime. There's a lot going on. We don't have any special interviews, but uh, North High has a lot of special activities going on tonight, and you'll want to stick around and, and look for that. Uh, do you know what any of those are, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the band, the cheerleaders, and the dance team. All three are going to, so it's a five-minute extra. So our cameraman got to work a little bit more, so it gives us a little bit more time to use the restroom. Like a kid told me on the baseball field this summer, eh, you're getting paid for it. <laughs> but uh, the cheerleaders also have, they have the little cheerleaders coming on. Uh, you know, that'll be entertaining as yep. always. Uh, we look forward to that. Uh, but with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have uh, the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's football game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is the people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. board certified pediatrician. I've practiced pediatrics now for about 14 years and I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters and I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say mom I have cervical cancer and you did nothing to protect me. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the, we are the ultimate, ultimate team players. players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packers fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Ladies and gentlemen, to honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask those who are able to stand to move your head to wear, place your hand over your heart for the playing of our national anthem.
Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. Back at uh, Urban Field, uh, North High is going to be kicking off to start tonight's ball game. Uh, De Pere uh, trotting out, wearing their uh, white uniforms, North in their blue tops. Uh, these look like new uniforms, Chris. Kind of hard to tell yeah. for sure. Well, the last time we were here, we couldn't see any uniforms because it's all foggy. Right, yeah, it was a real foggy game. A little bit of a shot of the uh, press box by Eric Richard Bartson up on top. Scott Mailoff is our director tonight. Eric Wiesman on the field. Getting ready to kick off is uh, Bailey Meyer. Kick carries very deep inside the five yard line. And we got a reverse already. Chris, that ball handed off to uh, Tanner Herman. He gets to the outside, he's got the corner and uh, gets it up near the 30 yard line. Pretty nice return. Clinton Bodoin on the tackle. It'll be first and 10 for the Redbirds. They're spotting it on the uh, 29 yard line. So even with the trickery, Chris, uh, North not in too bad a shape. Rungi is at quarterback. Chris called that during the uh, opening comments. Ohuafi is uh, the lone setback in the backfield, and they got trips to both sides, and we get a whistle. <laughs> you know, timeout by North. They were uh, totally not s prepared for that uh, two you know, trips, one on each end. You know, <laughs> they're nice. Like you need to come out with that. <laughs> you can't just line up the 11 and uh, found you. You're going to set up with two linemen on each side. <laughs> yeah, they went with the trickery on the kickoff return. Uh, yeah. That wasn't, that was okay. I mean, they got some yardage. A 29 isn't uh, too bad. But then you're right, sending six wides out. What's the point? <laughs> All right, a little more... Uh, Balanced here. Unbalanced line to the right. Ohuafi uh, slips through and he's tackled outside the uh, 35 yard line. Pretty nice gain there. And he's Lindau makes the first stop, which we don't want to see. Yeah, exactly. You call that at the, in the opening also. Wide to this side is uh, Zach Rubus. Rubus. Another inside handoff. Owafi through the line, barreling up into North High territory, goes down at the 46-yard uh, line. Big gain there. And Lindau on the stop again. 16-yard run. 25 yards and two carries. A 
Four wide receivers, two left and right. Rungy cranks it up. He's got a big, tall receiver out there and making the catch was Max Huddleston. Good grab. Huddleston, a junior tight end. Looking at the front line of the, the Pier Redbirds, 290, 300, 265. 270 and 265, Marty. Yeah, good replay on that big, tall Huddleston. Uh, made a great catch. I don't good think throw by Rungi. I don't think North has a player over 250. <laughs> Rungi dancing, puts it under and runs with it, and uh, he's going to get down inside the 20 yard line. He'll be short of the first down. Pick up of about seven. Ethan Gerbig, number 68 for them as their center. He's a 6'3", 265 center. Second down for the Redbirds, they're on the move. Quick strike and Huddleston again makes the catch. Pardon me, Tanner Herman. Another tall receiver, Chris. Herman goes 6'3", 175, and it's an easy touchdown drive for the Redbirds. That's Rungi's eighth touchdown of the season, Marty. Watch this. He drills it. Boom. And Herman. Herman was the guy that took the uh, return. Handoff on the kickoff return. And there's two minutes and eight seconds in. The pier has scored. And they're going for two. Rungi uh, fakes the handoff to uh, Ohuafi and keeps it and dives in for two. It's uh, eight to nothing. Eight to nothing with uh, 9.52 left in the first quarter. Oh boy, Chris. Yep, that was a... A little too quick. Yep. Very little resistance on that drive. 9, 16, 27, 19 for the touchdown. <laughs> 71 yard drive in five plays. Two minutes and eight seconds. You know, one of the things that uh, North could do to uh, try and slow them down a little bit is if they could get their offense going a yep. little bit and keep control of the ball. Green's got it on the return, trying to go right, switches back to the left, and he's buried at about the 23-yard line. Be first and 10 North, but uh, yeah, you know, if they could keep control of the ball for a while, at least keep it out of their offensive hand, offense, uh, offense from getting it. And we mentioned that uh, in the beginning that uh, the pier has given up some yards. And uh, well, we said that last week against South and the offense was uh, struggled to say the very least. So we'll see what happens here. Green on the uh, split out wide to the right. Meyer all alone in the backfield, Chris. Going deep, they sense what you did. Their pass defense is not good. Oh, Green Pierce lost his slipped. footing at about the 32-yard line, but a long gainer. Bailey Meyer to Peter Green. It's going to be first and 10 on the DePierre side. Peters. Watch this. Hobbling Great back touch. a little bit. A looping pass. And caught. would have been a touchdown if he would have kept his feet, but fortunately for Peter, he got his feet mixed up, and he's... Uh, He's hobbling himself over there. 43 yarder, Chris. I know he had about three, four catches last week, so he's got about 26. That would be 27 on the season. Here's really keeping it. Barrels forward, gets inside the 30, down to the 29. Oh, and now Ben Miller's hobbling around. So you just took care of two of my bats in the lineup are hobbling. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the first we two don't plays. like that. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> it's hard enough to beat a team like the Pier, and then you don't have your horses. Holy no. cow. Yeah. Quick out. Lindau trying to cut it back. He's going to be close to the first down. I like that play, Marty, because it's quick. The ball gets to the receiver quick, and you can attack. I liked when Bailey Meyer, too, there just took off and ran. You know, if you're going to attack this team, just go right at them. And the more you wait, the more they're going to come at you. Here you see the replay. Again, I think Peter was supposed to hit the other guy. Two, two people... Two of the ends there did the blocking on the same guy, and the guy that made the tackle was the one that wasn't hit. Third down and two. I like Bailey this. Meyer tucks it under, trying to get to the outside, rips away from one tackler and has the first down inside the 25. Yeah, a little more north-south. I know you're trying to get some more, Bailey, but uh, just take what you can. Get that two yards. Good job. Second first down, my gosh, North last week. I don't think it had a first down until, except for a penalty, till late in the second quarter. It's going to be first and 10 for the Raiders. Ball spotted on the 23. Miller in the backfield with Meyer. We haven't seen uh, Kenyon Gilbert yet. Good play again. Bailey Meyer right up the middle. Dragon Tacklers gets it inside the 20. I like that play, Marty. Just quick and attack. Pick up a six. I like that call a lot. Green is going to split out wide to the left. Lindahl inside of him. Also leaning to that side is uh, Ben Miller. Meyer looking, avoids one tackler, but can't get by the second. He's going to be sacked. Making that tackle was uh, Aaron Vopel. Vopel, 6'8", 250. Is that all? Horse. Is that all? Yeah, is that all? <laughs> Watch this. Voids the first rusher. Whoop! But Warpel had uh, had the beat on him. Loss of six. I think you and I combined aren't six eight two fifty, Marty. No, I don't think so either. Third down and ten. Two wide receivers off to the right. Green was the uh, widest of the two. Throwing out to uh, Spalding. Is, that pass is incomplete. That makes it fourth down. Might as well go for it. Not going to kick a field goal from here. Meyer takes the snap, has his pass blocked. It's going to go incomplete. DePierre will get it back. Guess who blocked it? <laughs> I would uh, venture that would be number 99, Aaron <laughs> Vopal. He got his big hands up there and his big body and uh, eliminated that passing lane. First and 10 for uh, DePierre. They have it on the north, uh, pardon me, on their 23. And here they come out with their six sets. What they'd like to do here is probably run type of wide receiver screen, and then you have blockers out in front, Marty. And you also got the wide open in the middle if you want to hand the ball off. That one kid out here doesn't look like a wide receiver, though, at number 70. No, he's type a, number. that's what I'm saying. He'd be set for a screen, and then you can run this because you clear everybody out, and then basically it's your three linemen against their five. And when you got two big, three big horses leading the way there, Ohu Hafi on the carry takes it out. They're going to spot it on the 40. 
It's a 17-yard pickup. Ivan Blazik, number 79, 6'1", 265, junior, was leading that time. 42 yards and three carries for Ohu Hafi. Another inside handoff to him. He breaks through. He's through all the way down to the north high, 35, 36-yard line. Another big gainer. They're just opening up, Chris. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, they're... They got a lot of, lot of, lot of strength up the middle, Marty. I mean, 290, 300, 265. Good replay, Scott. 270, 265 front line. Wow. Another inside handoff to Ohu Hoffi. He's still dragging tacklers all the way down to the 20 yard line. 17 yard pickup, they're gashing them. Yeah. Pierre defeated Notre Dame 21 to 14. We saw Notre Dame, saw that nice little outfit. And uh, they also beat Ashwaubenon 20 to 13. Their big date is October 16th, the last game of the season, Marty, when De Pierre travels to Bayport. That would be a good one to go see. Mitch Anderson is wide to the left to give an inside handoff on a jet sweep and uh, not getting very far that time. Getting tackled was Jordan Esser. Weston Yerk on the stop there. And that's going to go for no gain. And a hanky on the field, Marty, oh. our first. Holding on the pier. You're going to take the penalty. Set up a first and 20 from about the 29. Pretty good student section out here, Marty, which is nice to see. Nice night. We've had a nice September day, finally. Really? I was telling the guys before the game, it didn't even seem like football weather. It's not raining. Yeah. Rungy zips one to uh, his wide receiver, Esser, and he gets it down near the 10-yard line. That could be a first down. Well, Rungi came in averaging, averaging 60% uh, throwing percentage, 802 yards in the, throughout the air, but uh, he's got a nice, accurate arm, Marty. He certainly does. Ball on the 11-yard line, second and one. Fake to Ohu Hafi. Rungi keeps nice. it and uh, gets tackled hard, but he does have the first down. It'll be first and goal from the nine. You're kind of tackle there. First and goal for the Redbirds. We got... Oh, you mean he didn't get it? Trying to catch up on some of my stats, Chris. They've uh, been pretty successful in the passing game. They're three for three. And to three different receivers, which is pretty interesting. First down, Marty, you're correct. I knew that. Rungi rolling right, looking. Now he tucks it under and uh, gets pushed out of bounds. But even that, he gets five yards, Marty. Yeah, I don't... I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage, did he? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he he's did. Up yeah, to he the five did. You're right. You're right. Ten. I had my markers down. Even when they don't look like they gain much, Marty, they're gaining big chunks. Yeah, I hear you. Second and goal. Ball spotted on the five. Rungi looking, he's Easy. got his wide receiver. Nice catch made by uh, Joseph, Jordan Joseph. 6'5", uh, 175 target. That's just too easy, Chris. No. Oof.
Are they going for two again? Sure enough. Ohuafi in the backfield with uh, Rungney hands it off to him. He barrels in. Another touchdown with a two point conversion makes it uh, 16 to nothing. And we still have 2.56 left in the first. Uh, pretty easy, Chris. Well, we mentioned that the Piers number two in the state in Division Two. Number one would be Wanaki, and Scott Rice's brother, coach of South, is in charge of Wanaki. Hey, Chris. You know how they talk about sometimes in college basketball, you want to blow people away and you know build up your resume. They do do I guess in, in uh, football too when you play the cupcakes kind of schedule. Do you sense the peer? Trying to make a statement like that? Well, I just trying to run up the score? Well, I didn't like the first set. You know, you have to come out. Uh, maybe they just don't kick extra points. I, You know, it's just something I know. There are teams that just don't do that. You might as well take your chance at two. You know, you're gonna eventually going to need someone to be able to kick. But, uh, I, you know, I didn't like the reverse either. I mean, these games are scouted and stuff, so why would you give away stuff on tape, you know, that you're... When you really don't need, need to use to, it. Right. Lindau has it. Cuts through the first wave of tacklers. Cuts it back. He's got an opening. And now he has to cut it back again, and he's dragged down outside the 45-yard line. Nice return. And for as good as the pier is, you know, you're going to have to be able to stop people. And that's two pretty good kickoff returns. And we already saw North move the ball a little bit. Right here is the cutback. Boom, right there. And I think right there he should have switched the ball into his other hand and just gone for the sideline. Yeah. Just I keep think, going. Well, I didn't know if he could get by Jake Van Ren. Well, there. he wasn't going to get by him going the other way either. <laughs> <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. North in good field position, but they are down 16 nothing. Billy Meyer has some company in the backfield. Hayden Herman quick out. Spalding makes a catch for five, make it four yards. I like those quick little passes here. Mention that in the first drive. Fortunately, they got the sack. That's put them back a little bit. Second down and six. Spalding out to this side now, and uh, Green wide to the left. Miller is the up back. I'm not sure who the deep back is, Chris. Inside handoff. And getting knocked down hard was uh, Elijah Knight. We haven't seen him in the backfield much. That's going to be uh, no gain on that play. see Elijah trying to get to the outside. Uh, play was designed to go up and in, but uh, there was absolutely no hole there. And there was uh, Vopel there to <laughs> get pursued by that guy. Not this way, young man. Please, Coach, let me run away from number 99. You can see there was a guard on the left side pulled and went around, but uh, was not able to clear anything. And I think we're going to have North offside. Looks like Spalding got his head over the ball. No, check that. It wasn't Spalding. There's a kid without a number on our program. Boy, Marty, they didn't even get up to the long. I mean, that was, I thought that was called pretty quickly. That's because he lined up offside. Okay. That's we have a chance to himself set. I hate that when they get guys in numbers we don't have. Oh, and you look at that north line, Chris, there's just no comparison with no. those uh, De Pere kids. No. Green's pass, a dart to uh, Green. Makes a nice move. First tackler misses him. And then he gets it up to about the De Pere 40 yard line. It'll be first and 10 north. Fifteen yard pickup. 
Green has had a, pardon me, Bailey Meyer has had a nice first quarter. Chris, I've got him uh, four for six. And uh, 58, 64 yards. Meyer looking, and then he tucked it down pretty quick, Chris, and I runs like it that. up for about five or six yards. Ben Miller again slow to get up. And again, I like that play. Get it and just run. Anything to the positive, and that should be the quarter, Marty. It's going to be awfully tight. If I'm north here, I wouldn't be uh, running a play. No, it's uh, down to seven seconds. They're hustling up to the line. I'm not sure they'll get it off in time. Well, they have the wind. Nope. All right, we're at the end of the first quarter with DePier on top, 16 to nothing. North on the move, however. Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player, I know how rewarding sports can be and how quickly injuries happen. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask athletes to play it safe. With my years of training, I know what it takes to become an expert, and orthodontists do too. They're the experts who help people obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. Wear mouth guards, face masks, and helmets to prevent injuries. Keep smiling and visit braces.org. Chris, I've got DePierre with 91 rushing yards in the first, in the first quarter and uh, 62 yards passi passing for 153 total. Wow. North had 93 yards total. Green has it, and he's stacked up. I believe he's got enough for the first down, however. Another quick pass. First and 10 for the Raiders. Ball spotted on the 29-yard line. He takes a snap, hands it off inside. It looks like Herman on the, his first carry of the ball game. First time we're calling his number. Well, we've seen this a couple times now, Marty. The offense seems to have a little flow, much better than a week ago. Oh boy, it was almost non-existent last week. But I like that it's quick here. I mean, they're making quick decisions, quick hitters with the running backs, quick passes. Bailey doesn't have to sit back there too long. And he's gotten some nice runs himself. Herman, the deep back. Bailey Meyer going deep to Peter Green. He's got it over the shoulder. Catch, what a play. Great pass, great catch. North on the board. 22-yard scoring play. Very nice. Nice pass, nice catch. Watch this over the shoulder. Let's see what North does. They're going for two, almost forced into it, Chris. Yep. Herman is the deep back. Bailey rolling right. Tries to jump, but uh, couldn't get the pass off. Full pull on the stop. So, with 10.45 left until halftime, North trails it 16 to six. Hey, they look good on offense. Very nice offensive drives. They, uh, compared to a week ago, 
a little more efficient. Like I said, just things, a little more pep in their step. I like the quick plays there. Don't let Bailey sit back there too long. Nice job. If it wasn't for that big sack on the first drive, Marty, maybe they would have gotten some points then too. Yeah, I agree with you. The uh, problem is to stop the number one offense in the league. Yeah. And hey, I was going to mention some quick stats here for North. They had 31 yards rushing in that first quarter. That's more than they had all game against South. And uh, they passed for 64 yards for uh, 95 yards. I mean, I think yeah. that's more than they had all last yep. week, too. So the offense has not been the problem tonight so far. And no turnovers, I might add. Meyer's kick not nearly as deep, taken on the 15-yard line on the oh run my. and going right through the middle is uh, that return man. Let's see if you can get a number on that gentleman, number 20 on the return. That was uh, Connor Kupsch. 5'10", 170, and he, was, he looked like a load running down there. And my gosh, there was nobody there. Wow, is that an opening or what? Aiden Herman got a hold of him and didn't let go. <laughs> Ball is spotted at the north 41 yard line. Ohuafi in the backfield behind Rungi. And uh, he gets the handoff and gets knocked down right at the 40, so give him a gain of one. Good job there. That was the best run defense all night. You're going to put it at the 39, so give them a gain of two, but uh, that's the best uh, play they've had on defense against the run tonight. Yeah, and I don't have a number for who made the tackle. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys that uh, are not on our program for North. Rungi. Fires just out of the reach of his intended receiver. That's his first incompletion of the night, Chris. He was uh, four for four in the first quarter. Seschel on the defense there, and uh, we got third and eight here, Marty. He got a chance. A couple of wide receivers out this way. Uh, Vaklev Jeda inside oh handoff boy. to Ohuhafi, and he's got more than enough for a first down. He's still on his feet. He's dragged down near the 15-yard line. That was over 20 yards. Big hole. Look at this hole. 24 Boom. yards. Good seal blocks by the guards. The thing I notice is their wide receivers get down and uh, look for people to block also. Yeah, they're big kids. They are big, tall kids at receiver. Mitch didn't. Anderson is wide to the right. And they go the other way. Nice uh, scoop made. I don't know if that pass is going to be, that's going to be an uh, incompletion, I believe. Yeah. Rubis was the intended receiver, and even he knew it, short hopped him. The reason we knew it was incomplete, even though it was hard to see, is when all the North High tacklers pulled up on him. Yep, he did too. <laughs> there, there you, you go, great replay. Rungi. Quick slant oh. and right through the hands of Zach Rabas. And it's going to be third down. That play is there, Chris. Yep. I mean, that was, he was down to f the field before the uh, secondary of North even knew what was there. Yeah, it's got to get on that inside shoulder. Tanner Herman wide to the right. Rungi forced from the pocket, running. He's going to get the first down. It looked like he was going to get the first down. No, they're saying it's going to be fourth down. Wow, that's just short. Nine yards. 
actually a long nine. Ohu Hafi in the backfield, taking it under center. This time is Rungi, and we get a quarterback sneak. And he leans forward, and he's got the first down. First and goal for the Redbirds at the four-yard line. Chris, they're probably going to score, but I'll tell you, North has played a lot better run defense this possession. Yep, they're up there fighting. They're giving everything they had, but my God, they're... <laughs> Every man is outweighed by 75, 80 pounds. At least. <laughs> really? Ohuafi takes the handoff, bounces to the outside, oh, and is in for a touchdown. A couple of missed tackles. And another score for uh, De Pere. This is his seventh touchdown of the season. Four-yard run. First running touchdown tonight, Chris, by either team. Going for two. They've done it all night, and they've been uh, very successful at it. Inside handoff. Oh, he cuts it back to the left and found a wide open path to the end zone and scores. With 8.17 remaining until halftime, De Pier 24, North 6. There you see the touchdown run. Bouncing it to the outside on the two-point conversion. He cut it back to the left and uh, found a big hole there, too. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds, and I have been taking off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Well, we got a man limping off the field here, Chris. Four on north, that's uh, Israel Jassel. Don't like that. Israel, a defensive tackle, he's a senior. Hopefully he'll be able to uh, get back in the game. Helping him off the field is uh, Coach Bell and uh, Chris Lenz, trainer. Lindau and Green are back deep to return this uh, kickoff. Jake Van Rens does the kickoff chores for uh, the pier. Ball carries deep inside the five. Lindau cuts it back inside and uh, gets a good return near the 25 yard line. It'll be first and 10 north. Well, we've seen some positive things out of the offense this week, Marty. Third possession, two very successful drives. The first one that just got sacked, which made it a very difficult chance for a first down. But let's see what they do on their third chance. Meyer takes the handoff, or takes the snap and hands it off to uh, Herman. He gets to about the 27 yard line, pickup of about two. You know, and Gilbert is uh, on the sideline, Chris. He doesn't appear to be hurt, he just hasn't gotten in yet. Standing. Next to uh, Demetrius Bird, number 25. That's my favorite high school football number. Quick out through the hands of uh, Green. 
Well, Peter would have caught that ball. <laughs> he was right in the middle of seven white shirts. It was the play before, but uh, even if Peter would have caught that, there wasn't a lot of room for him on that slant. Meyer trotting into the uh, huddle lead. Now he looks back to the sideline. They're going to have to get a timeout. Uh, some confusion getting the play in. It'll be a third down and eight for North. That was their second timeout used. Hey, I could have thought of something else we could have complained about, but they didn't do it, and that was on the kickoff. <laughs> if the guy trucks it onside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the pier. Next week, we're back here, right? We are, and uh, North uh, hosts Green Bay Preble. That's uh, next Friday. <laughs> Preble's at South tonight. Yeah. They got to take two trips to Two Green trips in a row. To Sheboygan. Ay, ay, ay. You know, I know we complain about our schedule for the Sheboygan schools, but the Green Bay schools don't always have it so sweet either. Well, it just doesn't make sense. They, they should. Can't you fix that? One team, sh one, they should only take one trip to Sheboygan. And it's just... Of course, you could talk about your baseball schedule. You've got stories uh, to tell with that, too. But we love this conference. <laughs> right. All right, third down and eight, Meyer. Looking, oh, he's run out of the pocket. Throws oh, a that's got to be a penalty. Pass. How can't Nothing. that be a penalty on Bailey Meyer? On he Bailey got, Meyer or, or against him? He got just clocked with a forearm shiver. Let's see that again. I huh? like, hopefully they show it all the way through. Bailey Meyer got just clocked after he got rid of that ball. Let's watch him here. See, if, Marty, if it happens here. Watch Bailey here. Are we going to... See how he up high on the head. <laughs> Fourth down. North is going to be punting for the first time tonight. Good snap. Myers' kick is away. A wobbler end over end, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, that was a, not a very good <laughs> He got a great spot, Chris. <laughs> Marking it at the uh, 45, <laughs> yeah. it should have been closer to the 50. Yeah. Either way, it wasn't very good. First down and 10, watch us see if you can see where it bounces. And it goes out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. First he was at the 43. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the official put his hand up like he's trying to figure out the angle. <laughs> the ball was way far yeah. ahead of him. <laughs> That's not how that works. Richard Bartson on that uh, oh my camera gosh. work. And oh, oh. Hoffy breaks through on the left end and uh, still on his feet and still on his feet. And he's out of bounds. No, he scored a touchdown. They never did get him out of bounds. And we got another injury by North coming off the field with a sore arm is number 54. And again, we don't have a name that goes with that number. This does not look good, Chris. He might have a broken arm. Oh, Hoffi with a 55 yard run and a touchdown. Jeez. Uh, one possession they did fairly well against the run, Chris, and then they have this happen. Yep. I don't think he got it. Up, oh, one official is signaling it. Two point conversion, good. Give him eight. 6.31 left. Oh, Afi with his uh, second touchdown run. 32 to six. Here's the replay. Looked like he was boggled up. There's an official <laughs> looking for where the ball is. And there's a guy 50 <laughs> yards away runs in and said, I got this, get out of my way. I want some camera time. Oh, 
I shouldn't laugh, Marty. That was bad. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool about the punt. Well, the punt, <laughs> he, you put your arm up so you can angle because you see it and you try to angle it, but the ball was down the way. So <laughs> what he should have held up instead of his arm, Chris, was his putter. <laughs> Lined it up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Van Rens getting ready to kick off again. He's been a busy young man tonight. Lindau and Green back deep for the Raiders. They've uh, been pretty good on their kickoff returns. And that's an offside. Oh, run it! Ay, ay, ay. Dropping Aye. down at the 31 yard line was <laughs> Peyton Phil. Come on, no. Pete and show them where you live, man. Come on. <laughs> Have some fun. Right. That might be your only chance this year to get the ball and run with it. Have some fun. What do you, what do you got to lose? <laughs> Meyer drops back, tucks it under right away and runs. He's got a big gainer here. Picks up uh, about 14 or 15 yards. It's going to be first and 10. Spot the ball at the 44 yard line. That's a 13 yard pickup. See what you have is the Piers front four attacking so much they almost over pursue, yeah. which creates holes for Bailey Meyer to, to go through. For a good chunk of the first quarter, Bailey was uh, in the backfield all alone. They've uh, put running backs with them now. Herman trying to get up the middle, picks up, uh, yeah, maybe he just got back to the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be second down. We're gonna be generous, Chris, and give him a gain of one. Oh yeah, I think I, I'd say about a one. <laughs> <laughs> it was more. I'm counting than, the inches, Marty. I'm counting the inches. Yeah, it was more than two feet, so we'll give him a yard. A lot of wide receivers off to the left. Meyer tucks it under, cuts it back, and he boom! He fumbled the ball. I think they're gonna call it a fumble. He wasn't down. And DePierre has it. He fumbled it at the 45-yard uh, line, and then DePierre picked it up. It looked like he might take it to the house, Marty, and then quick pursuit by the Redbirds. And unfortunately for him, he put it on the ground. Watch this run. He got Just hit for pretty a second. Hard. Yeah, but right there, I thought he could yeah. break through. He had the ball out a little bit, and that's right where the player's helmet made contact. It's going to be uh, first and 10 to Pierre with 534 left in the half. I think uh, Rungi wants to throw the ball, Chris. The coach says no. Good tackle. Weston Yerk. Jordan Esser on the carry. Cheating on the Pierre. That's what it looks like. Yep, holding. Let's see if we can catch it right in the middle of the line. Yeah, that big lineman was uh, holding our 74. They're all big linemen, Marty. <laughs> oh, don't generalize like that. Use their numbers. <laughs> Some teams only have one or two big linemen, not the peer. As we mentioned before, 290, 300, 265, 270, and 265 up front for those Redbirds. Pitch out to uh, Ohu Hafi. Dancing around, uh, picks up about six or seven yards. thinking about if ever I need to move, I can always get some linemen from the five linemen from the pier. My house would be empty in about an hour. Yeah, really. 
Wouldn't that be sweet? Rungi looking, looking is forced from the pocket. He's gonna run with it and goes out of bounds. Outside the uh, 45, but a very short gain. He's got quick feet, Marty. Yep. You know, he makes decisions and then uses those feet of his. Very efficient, doesn't take, take a hit there. Watch him here now. Looking, looking, nothing. Watch his quick feet. Shh. Scurrying up the line. Third, Third a bunch. Yeah. Rungi. Rungi keeps it. Boy, he had the uh, north defenders fooled, and he got through the, uh, around the uh, left end and uh, just skirted all the way down inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. That was a great fake, Chris, to uh, the running back, Ohu Hafi. Did I mention they have quick feet? Yeah, and he's a fast runner, too, right there. Defense was totally fooled, and uh, Rungi looks like a pretty fast runner. And a 6'5", 175 Joseph with the seal block there. Lindo with the uh, blast to knock him down. Rungi rolling right, passing. He's got his receiver. Did he get it in the end zone? It doesn't look like it. Zach Rubbis uh, was held short. It's going to be second and goal from the one. That was uh, Rungi's first completion of the quarter, Chris. Surprisingly enough. Well, they're doing so much damage on the ground. Ohu Hafi in the backfield gets it. And virtually untouched in for a touchdown. His third score. Uh, let's see. All of them coming here in the second quarter, Chris. I wonder just how good he is, Marty. You know, he's got a big line to run behind. We saw his good speed before, but uh, you know what? He's a big kid. When you you got a line like that. Makes things a little easier Six for you. 6'2", 200 pounds. Whew. Wow. That's uh, Boris' size. Another two-point conversion. Marty, if you were 200 pounds uh, back when we played, you'd be on the line. Really? We were t we've talked about that numerous times. I don't mean you and me, but I mean, you know, like kids that we played high school football with and... Uh, John Jorgensen was maybe 200, and that was it. He was a starting tackle. Our other tackle was maybe 170. Our center was 170. The two guards were two, 150. I mean, you know. Well, how did everybody get so big? Really? I, mean, I know. It's, it's just amazing. The NFL, too, it's just, I don't know. Is it our the diets we're on now, or I don't know. It's just strange how it's... You know, you talk about the NFL is the same way, you know. You know if you're not 300 plus on the offensive line, you, 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 you don't weigh enough. I heard they have ice bags ready for uh, Van Ren so he can ice down his leg at halftime. Doing all these kickoffs. Not very deep. Green's got it at about the uh, 13 or 14. Right up the middle. Go! Ugh. And taken down at the 40. What a return by Peter Green. You know, they have a great offense to peer, but... Yeah, they better have a great offense. Their, their special team good. and defense is not... Not playoff caliber. Not, not when you get not deep Not even going to win a state championship Exactly, type. yeah. I mean, they've... Not to saying they can't win, do well, but uh, definitely some uh, things we've seen. But I'll, I'll tell you, can't knock their offense. It's pretty it's a awesome. Machine. Three fifteen left until halftime. North with a chance to uh, get on the board. Miller in the backfield with uh, Bailey Meyer. 
Bailey tucks it down and runs. You know, these are all design plays, Chris. I like these plays, though. So. You know, they would have been a lot more efficient last week, too, if they would have let Bailey do some of this. Well, I think the reason they're doing it is because they couldn't get generator running game with uh, the, you know, the normal guys that do the running. So yep. they're taking the next best option, the biggest kid back there, and yep. letting them run with it. Yep. it uh, puts a lot of pressure on Bailey Meyer. He's been up to the task so far. There he runs for another first down inside the 30-yard line. North has one timeout remaining. There's 2.31 left, so they have plenty of time, actually. <coughs> there you see some nice blocking up front. It's a 10-yard pickup, by the way. Miller the up back, Bailey Meyer right behind him. Inside handoff and uh, Lindau is going to be knocked down and back by Jake Vorpal. <laughs> That's Aaron's brother. Jake goes, that can't be right, 5'11", 225? Number 90? That's bigger than that. <laughs> I was like, uh, let's not try that one again. Yeah, really. <laughs> Got to be able to hold a line to make those work. Second down and yeah. 15. I like the quick hitting idea instead. Yeah, exactly. I'm all with you there. Triple coverage basically on green. Meyer with a quick out. I like He's this. Got Miller. Miller's going to get it, get the five that they lost back and maybe another yard or so. And Ben's now down. And they're not there. Oh, jeez. Uh, kneeling down over him is uh, Ryan Kinney. Uh, the trainer for De Pierre is over, oh. helping him, and uh, Chris Lenz walks in. You know, it didn't look bad, but uh, it's either a knee or an ankle. I think it was number 54, Chris, for North came off with a bad arm, either that or 57. Well, what I didn't like was the North players screaming for Chris Lenz to, to get over here. You know, when the players know it's bad, you know, that's the first sign you of right. concern. I hear you. I'm with you there. And uh, he was hurting before. Yeah, you mentioned that he's he was hobbling a couple times up. before uh, watching him. We saw Peter hobbling a couple times, and uh, yeah, they're looking at the knee. Check it out again. You know, it's hard to see anything there. It just uh, looked like a football play. The pure kid made a nice tackle, and the end goes yeah, down. Yeah, I saw. Connor Kupsch was a tackler. Calling for the sidelines there. Um, you know, it's kind of like I mentioned to you or a couple people. I said, this is like the Jordy Nelson thing. All he did was jump up and catch the ball. How many? We can jump. We've jumped in our lives a thousand times, a millions of times, and you never see anybody get hurt. And uh, the way Jordy Nelson got hurt, and here's Ben can't put any weight on his leg, which is yeah, not a good thing. Dragging. What they need are taller trainers. <laughs> so he doesn't uh, have to drag his leg. This is where you need the cart. That's yeah. why you have the cart over here to get the cart over to take him off. That's they do it in the. That's why it sits there. Um, he should not be having to do this. This is not a good situation. Well, I see that other number, 54. We didn't have a name for him, Chris, but I see him on the sideline. He seems to be doing fine, which is a good thing. Hopefully he'll be able to get back out there and play. And uh, we apologize, but we don't have a name for you, kiddo. Uh, 
player out there helping him, Clayton Bell. You have the cart. Where are those Vorpol boys? Let's have them help. Well, what's the cart sitting right here? Why should he have to walk this off? They're looking for John Moss right now. He's got the key. John's right over to the right. Bringing him over to the training table on the track and uh, does not look good. Anyway, back to football action. It's third down and nine. Lindau in a little bit late in the backfield to help with the blocking is uh, Peyton Phil. Meyer dropping, quick out and uh, incomplete, but a flag does come down. Let's see what uh, that's all about. I think they were holding Spalding, maybe. No? We'll, we'll find out. Illegal procedure on North has declined. So it's an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down and nine. Exactly one minute left on the clock until halftime, and North does have a timeout left. So if they can get this first down, they've got some chances, Chris. They could do it. Peter Green is uh, the widest of the receivers on the left side. Oh, did you see that? Yep. The pure kid just go right through the north blocker. That was actually pretty impressive. Fourth down pass is incomplete. The pure takes over. Under a minute left. Watch this. Right up the middle, 48, right next to Bailey Meyer. He's the guy that's going to get destroyed. Boom. Are you allowed to dive into their legs, knock them down? I remember doing that in my sophomore year against Tim Seifert, who was a all-world oh, player. Yeah. And I caught his knee on my helmet. He knocked me right out. So you know what happened? The next day we ran the same drill. I went at him again. <laughs> he didn't knock me out that time. But I don't know that I stopped him. I guess my point is sometimes you just got to get creative. Yeah, let's uh, let's score quick here, DePere. You're up 40 to six. Yeah, let's, let's, let's much throw we the ball, it in. ball up in the air here. It'll be second down and ten. Heck, they could run it and get chunks of yardage. They've been doing it all night. Zach Rubis is wide to the right. Inside handoff, Ohuafi trying to bounce to the outside. He gets nice. taken down, nice tackle there. Making the stop was Weston Yerk. 40 seconds, Marty. Pick up a two on the play, it's third down. There's a picture There's of Ben. A, yeah, he's... Uh, not looking good. Doesn't make me feel good at all, Marty. Oh, mom and dad down there checking them out too. My stomach's queasy about it. Deep pass over everybody's head incomplete. It'll be fourth down with uh, 9.4 seconds left. Yep, let's not just run the quarter out. Better have that quick strike score. Yeah, it's, oh well. <laughs> I wonder sometimes, Marty. It's just a game. They're going for it. Green and Lindo are the two deep uh, safeties. Inside handoff, Ohuhafi right through the line. He's got the first down. And he's still on his feet and he gets into North Territory down to the 46 yard line and uh, stopped the clock with under a second left. Wow. The 
Pure sorry, calling a timeout. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was going to the bathroom, Marty, and you could have went. I know, but I thought it was going to be halftime. It's ridiculous. What do they need to call a timeout for? They're up forty to six. Hey, rub it in. Forty to six. Better run one more play. Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking of. Certainly doesn't make much sense to me. Mitch Anderson is the uh, wide receiver to this side, number four, and inside of him is uh, Tanner Herman. Actually, they're stacking. Hand off to Owafi. He goes right up the middle. He's got room to roam. And he's finally stopped near the 10 yard line, and that's going to be halftime. We're at halftime with the pier on top, 40 to 6. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives, building futures. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. And now introducing the 2015-2016 North High Varsity FC. The team is led by captains Willie Ryer, Alex Campbell, and junior captain Olivia DePacker. And coach by Caleb Pinder and Betsy Clout. Let's give a big round of applause for the North High varsity dance team dancing the routine entitled T Swift. Please. 
Junior High Varsity Dance Team. Sometimes, even the rescuers need to be rescued. The Coast Guard Foundation. Find out how you can help at rescuetherescuers.org. Hey, boys and girls. Let's hear it for the North High Shooter and Stuck Team. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. While at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. Seven.
hit rock and roll song that was featured in Guardians of the Galaxy. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Spirit in the Sky. conclude our halftime entertainment with one of the most recognizable themes in history. Here is John Williams' theme to Star Wars. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcano sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that you don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. 
at intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn and slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Balding trotting off. They must have had too many guys in the huddle. Somebody's not out there. Yeah. Who's not out there? Oh, my gosh. I'll give a shout out to uh, number 65 for North Cam Krebsbach. He was a kid that uh, had over at uh, Pigeon River. Uh, nice to see uh, former students out for sports being active in high school. And second time personnel timeout, and coach is letting them have it. And uh, of course, we don't have the number of the player that. Yeah, it's probably a good thing in this case. <laughs> yeah. That's not out there. Spalding went out there, but he wasn't supposed to be out there, so with three seconds in. Again, a, a personnel and coaches letting them have it. Our next game is uh, right back here at North High School when Green Bay Preble comes to town to play the Raiders. DePierre is going to host Pulaski. Uh, that would uh, appear to be oh, uh, boy. another runaway win for the Redbirds. Yeah, as I mentioned before, their big date is October 16th when they travel to Bayport. That'll be probably for the conference championship. Inside handoff to Herman. He gets it up to about the uh, 35. His longest run of the game. Give him a seven yard pickup there. You see it hit him right up the middle. Second down and about three. Meyer keeps it, bounces to the outside, gets it up to the 40, and it's going to be a first down for the Raiders. That's worked very well tonight, Marty. It's like, where has that been all year? Well, generally speaking, Chris, I think when you think about getting the running game going, you're, you know, you're looking at somebody that uh, is a running back kind of thing, not your quarterback. You know, pulling a Tim Tebow kind of thing, but uh, the running backs, uh, as I've seen it, you know, just are not very explosive and uh, not powerful enough to uh, move the line of scrimmage when they have to. Elijah Knight on the carry there. Oh, Jamal Arneson, number 28. 28. Picks up maybe a yard. His first carry of the night. North looking to uh, control the ball. Keep the uh, De Pere offense off the field. Another inside handoff. Herman this time gets it up to about the 30, 44, 43 yard line. Third down, about six or seven yards for uh, North. Big third down play. Oh boy. Legal substitution. Legal substitution, unless oh, they got 12 guys in the field. I haven't seen anybody come off. Now, yeah, finally. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> See it? Well, I saw two go <laughs> go out. <laughs> I do recall seeing uh, one North. <laughs> Let's oh see, boy. one, two, three, four, five, six, we seven, got 11 eight, now, nine, I know. 10, 11. All righty, now we're set to play. You think it'd really matter if they had 12 out there? I don't, I'm just thinking the same thing, Marty. Uh, uh, now we're cheating. A little bit in motion that time was uh, 
Patrick Susha. Yeah. Oh man! Come I on, went to guys. school with a Sussel, but it was not from around here. He was a big kid. He was a farm farm kid. I went to Did you guys live out, out in the country a little bit? Well, <laughs> or I suppose that was so far back, now it's yeah, all built up. up. Yep, it was then. Because I remember coming home with yeah. Dave Gare from La Crosse, yeah. and we stopped at that your house. That was Mequon and Homestead before what it is today. That neighborhood, yeah. that's not the same place I grew up in. Uh-oh. Oh, he's not going to get away. And he sacked way back inside the 25. Wow, we... And I'll oh, set up a man. fourth, and I'll bunch. Yeah, 25 or so. So with 8.30 left here, North is going to have to punt it away. We've only punted one so far. Yeah, that part's been pretty good. Well, they had it working for a little while, Chris. Meyer gets a good snap, kick is away, nice high kick, taken at the 38, and uh, ripped down was the return man, Connor Kupsch. First and 10 for the beer, and they're gonna be in uh, great shape. We do have a hanky on the floor, on the field. Holding on to Pierre on the return, so uh, we'll be back a little bit further, but they'll have the ball, first and 10. Hey, Ben Miller's back. Sweet. On crutches. Oh. I'm surprised not so they're not taking him to get that oh, checked out. Man. But Chris Lenz is very smart on this, he knows, so. <laughs> Not oh, this is a substantial, substantial penalty, Chris. I'm going to mark it at the uh, 41. There you see Ben on yep. your screen with the crutches. Yep, and the uh, thing about Ben is that one of his strengths is his speed. He is so quick, and uh, so I would affect his legs and stuff. You always worry about yeah. things, and plays linebacker and running back on the team here, and Sister Maggie's a good little athlete, too. Look for that name at North High. And a couple wide receivers off to this end for DePier. Ohu Javi in the backfield, and we get a flag. Offside North lining up offside. The other thing about Ben oh, Marty is that he's, uh, he's quick humored. He's, got, he's quick one liner and always got to come back or something to say that's tries to keep the game fun he enjoys competes but hard but keeps the game fun tends to wear unique outfits to practice and hats and things right up the middle and lindau oh who gets it inside the uh, 45. Yep, he doesn't have enough yards yet marty he's gonna go over 300 this time yeah Fifty-six on the roster. There's no other backs back there on the sidelines. Yeah, really. Wouldn't want to give somebody else a chance. Rungi, a pitch back to Ohu Hafi. Cuts it up. Barrels over people. He's pretty close to a first down again. Second down and two. Both starting outfit out there for DePier. Front line looks the same. It's big. Big. We <laughs> <laughs> can't miss them. <laughs> going to say that. Something to that effect. It's hard to read their numbers when they're all stretched out. <laughs> yeah, they could have three digits. He's over the line of scrimmage. Good decision. Rungi out. Uh, with the nice choppy steps, uh, scrambles and gets first down. 
Smart play on his part. See, and the other thing, too, is who's to say that all of a sudden Rungi t twists an ankle or something here in a game 40 to 6. And like I say, you got a whole, your whole starting lineup out there, and you lose one in a game up 40 to 6. Kind of foolish. Yeah, it's, at what point you pull them, you're right. Oh, Hoffi trying to uh, probe his way through the line of scrimmage and uh, gain some yardage. Campbell running off, number 44. I don't think, Chris, that uh, De Pere has had a negative yardage play tonight. I think they've all been positive. Second down and about five. Rungi at quarterback. The man in motion is Herman. Inside handoff. I haven't seen this play. Yeah, a little inside reverse. That was uh, Esser. Esser's carried the ball before. And again, why show that play? Yeah, exactly. It's a great point, Chris. I mean, why would you want to do that? No. A, it's a very road. well developed. I love the play. Yeah. Just what's the point? You're, you might as well just, you know, just run your dives and stuff. That's what most teams do when you're up by this. You know, just run up the middle and see if they can stop you. But, you know, that's just showing opponents something else to, to study or they know when they come. And right, now let's throw. <laughs> yeah, and a great catch by Rubis. Uh, 11 yard play for a TD. That was the uh, fourth touchdown pass. No, pardon me, third touchdown pass for Rungi tonight. So he's lighting up the scoreboard. And when does the clock start running? Uh, following the uh, kickoff. It doesn't, the clock stops on scores, Marty. That's, or uh, timeouts, otherwise it'll just keep running. And of course they gotta go for two. And Ohu Hafi, two pointer. Forty-six to six. Forty point spread. Forty-eight, pardon me. Forty-eight. Forty-eight to six. Got to be 35 point spread. I think you mentioned that. Uh, so even if North scores. Uh. Moss and Shedder down on the sidelines warming up. Two managers. <laughs> Pull me in, coach. Allison's gonna play in the powder puff game. Line drive kick. Picked up by uh, Lindau. He gets through the first wave of defenders and then uh, is tackled hard at about the 37. And the clock is running. Ball is going to get spotted at the 37-yard uh, line. It'll be first and 10 for the Raiders. Okay, penalty. Run it? Yep, I believe it does. Injury? Uh, it stops, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Herman uh, trying to probe the middle, but there's nothing there. Chris, do you hear anything about Gilbert? Is he uh, hurt, or are they just nope. selecting not to play him tonight? I would say they're just not using him at this time. He's uh, on the sideline. You know, we've seen him down there, standing next to my favorite number, 25. Second down and 10. 
Meyer looking, looking, fires a dart. Green has it. He's going to be short of the first down. And he fumbles. And we get a fumble. And the officials don't know what to call. Oh, they call they're saying it was a fumble. Darn. Well, Green catches it for about eight yards, and then it's a fumble lost. Pierre will have it. First and ten. I don't know if the officials are. Uh, oh, they're getting it. They're going to give it back to North. Raider ball. Raider ball. No fumble lost. Saying the ball was down. But it will be. Uh, yeah, he looked like he was probably down there. It's hard to tell. But it's going to be third down and about two. Ball spotted on the 46-yard uh, line. Meyer heading off around the right end. He's going to have the first down. Not by much, but he got it. First down for North, Chris back getting some uh, information about uh, Ben Miller and what's happening with him. Yeah, it's not an ACL or an MCL, so that's good. That's a good thing. I don't want to reveal everything, but uh, said it's not as bad as it could be, and uh, be ready for spring. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, like I said, my gut was just moving big time. Quick out to Lindau, but off of his hands, yeah. pass is incomplete. Just let him a little bit too much. Was that type of pass that you like, though, the quick out? And let the receiver uh, do some running. Clock running, 145 left in the third. North has had uh, most of the had the ball most of this quarter, but they haven't been able to do anything with it. Bailey Meyer on a quarterback sweep to the left picks up about uh, seven or eight yards. <coughs> me third down, make it about three yards to go for a first down. Well, you know this is going to happen, Chris. If they don't get it here, they will be going for it on uh, fourth down. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's two down territory. Meyer going off left tackle. I think he's got the first down, Chris. Let's we'll see where they eventually spot it. Officials looking at it. They're going to give him the first down. Meyer just squeaking out the yardage needed and uh, got the first down, and that should do it for the uh, fourth yeah. quarter. Oh, they're going to try to get one more in, Marty. <laughs> well, they got 10 seconds. Yeah. They should be able to do it. Quick out to green. Gets a one, round one tackle, and another tries to cut it back. And then he's knocked down at about the 35-yard uh, line, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is, healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school 
to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit MyLifeMySmile.org. See these hands? They grip the wheel of a Humvee in Afghanistan. Twelve years. Flying choppers. My hands? They're here for the person who fought in Afghanistan. I made the call and got support for my sister. Mine take care of the person who flew those helicopters. And if life gets overwhelming, they're ready to dial the Veterans Crisis Line. Confidential help is just a call, click, or text away. Now getting ready to start fourth quarter action. Yardage totals way down for both teams, Chris, with the uh, running clock. Meyer going to the uh, left again and uh, gets hit hard right at the 35-yard uh, line. No gain on that play. It's going to be third down. Fourth. Seth, go upstairs. He always wanted to do these announcements. What, what, an Amber Alert or what? You know? No, that was about a cell phone or something found. So it was, uh, again, <laughs> we aren't the PA. Right. Meyer finds an opening, gets through, and oh, he's nice going to get, I don't think he's going to have the first down, Chris. I don't think so either. That was a nice He wanted there. to stretch it out to get it over the line, but I'm not sure that he did. Did a great job of finding an opening, though. There you see, watch him reach the ball out now. Oop, too late. Fourth down and one. Tight set for North. Yeah, Phil is the uh, up back. And they pass forward. Did they get it? I don't think so. Cal Spaulding on the catch. Spaulding says first down. The officials might have something else to discuss on this. And Give it to him. Yes. Pick up a one. Just <laughs> enough. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I didn't hey. know. I got to be honest with you, Marty. When he caught it, I didn't think he was anywhere near the line of scrimmage. <laughs> You got to get your putter and hold it up and kind of measure like that guy was supposed to do for the punt. I'll be golfing with Coach Van Vagel tomorrow. And where should I stay away from, of course? <laughs> Bailey Meyer right up the middle. Picks up five yards on that little quick opener. Watch this. Guard pulling through. Oh, you missed the block, man. Hit somebody. I thought it was nice of Wisconsin to move their game to 7 o'clock so we can golf tomorrow morning and early afternoon. Hey, I'm sure they were thinking <laughs> just of you. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Van vagel has got a lot of pull down there in Madison. <laughs> we thought we only extended across the state to lacrosse, but he's going south yeah. with that. Uh, hey, girls. <laughs> All right, second down and five. Clock running. Meyer gets the corner. He's got the first down and a bunch more. Nice run by Bailey Meyer. Bounce. Chris, watch this. Watch him get the corner. But, uh, you know, you talked about early on that they have got trouble playing run defense. And uh, there you see it right there. Yep. First down and 10 at the 11. That was a 26 yard pickup. Holy cow. You know, of all the games that we've done involving North this year, uh, that's been the longest running play. Rebsbach playing uh, right tackle. Inside handoff to Herman. He's going to get hit in the backfield. Give him a no gainer on that. Jamel Arneson coming back in. 
Mel's a former student of mine. Got good speed. Yeah. Hard, you know, when you can't get a block, you know, it's hard to show that speed. You can't pop through the line. Meyer dropping straight back. Looks out. He's tended receiver. Spalding couldn't come up with it. Pass goes incomplete. Seven twenty left in the game. It's third down. Third and eleven. It's been a rough go tonight. Uh, De Pere, uh, awfully good team. Chris, you mentioned it. good on offense clean up the defense. There's a reverse. Lindau gets it down near the five yard line. Well, we've seen that play work earlier this year on a two point conversion. This time, a regular situation, a little reverse. Fooled some of the De Pere second stringers there. It's gonna be fourth down. And about five yards to go. Watch for Meyer to roll right here. Peter Green to fake left and go back towards the uh, flag over there. Green wide to the right, there spalling he is. inside. There's the play. And, and he just, missed him. Just out of reach. He was open. Just couldn't get him the ball. And now uh, they turn it over on downs. What did I say he was going to run? <laughs> They'll fake post in, out to the flag. Meyer rolls out, just missed him. Chris, are you the offensive coordinator? <laughs> oh, and off his hands, too. I mean, it. Uh, yeah. Tough play. All righty. A lot of wideouts. Two to the left, two to the right. Oh, Afi fumbles the ball. It's on the ground. Who's got it? North has it. Was it Owen Offie? I think it was a different guy, Marty. It was 22. There's your chance to go into the game, and then you put it on the carpet. Uh-oh. see if we can catch Neil up right calling there. 22, I believe it was, Marty. Yeah, you know what? I don't think the quarterback got even close to him. No. And quarterback was uh, James Zarin. Zarin. Yeah, right. Whatever. Zarin there. Yep. North has it. First down on the seven. Bailey Meyer drops back, takes it up the middle, plows over some people and gets it down inside the five. Meyer picks up five. 420. And counting. Second down and goal from the two. Did you say the time on the clock? Yep, 420. Meyer again right up the gut, plows into the end zone, touchdown. Well, helps to get the ball deep. And uh, nice to have a big quarterback like that to run it in. Well, North has to go for two to stop the running clock. Four minutes exactly left. We, Chris mentioned this earlier. You do stop it on scores. Uh, they would score here. I think it still runs, though, Marty. I don't think if you get it underneath. I'm not sure. It's Same play. 35. Extra point is good to Green. It's uh, 48 to 14. That's a 34-point difference. That would mean a stopped clock. I think it keeps running, Marty, because once it gets to 35, I think they still run it. I'm not sure about that. But I'm, we'll find out. I might be wrong. 
I do believe the 35 point thing is a great decision choice. You know, the last thing I like reading about is big, you know, you always read about the basketball is the same way. All of a sudden you'll see a score 100 to 20. Why do you need to score 100? I mean, isn't well, 60 to 20 enough? I mean, here is one thing I didn't like, and I don't know the football history of it, but in baseball, they used to do the 10 run rule. Then once you got into tournament action, that was all done away with, you know, which doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, is, is all of a sudden a team that's not very good or terrible all of a sudden going to get better because they're playing a tournament game against a, yeah. you know, really good team? Onside kick? No. You don't want them to rub it on you, then you don't do kind of something like that on the kick side, flip side. All right, I got you. Squib kick's okay, though. Now that kid knows what he's doing. Yep. I'm going to run with it. I may not get another chance. Of course, Max Huddleston is a uh, Yeah, it's a running action. clock, Marty. I was right. That's yeah. surprising. No, I, I just knew <laughs> that. <laughs> I, I thought that the rule was once it went into play that it continues that way. Okay. Clock running right now. About rolling down to the 3.30 mark. And uh, we've got uh, Zarin at quarterback and Cups uh, at running back and a whistle. Timeout north. Personnel situation again. Oh boy, four, eight, nine, ten. I think I got count 12 guys out there. Is that right? Well, I just I think they're going to try to get some more kids in. I see Lindau's out of the game. That's good. I think that's a good decision, get some other kids in the game. The other thing, and I know we've talked about this too, it's nice to be playing football games when school is in session. It seems like the kids are more attuned to what's going on in terms of when the games are and things. You know, when you get those two games before school even starts, the uh, student participation just isn't there. David Sontag out there for North Hayden Herman in there. Looks like Bell's still in there. I'll tell you, the North guys still look small against these uh, other kids, too. Carry up the middle by uh, Hunter Harris. Of course, someone makes the cat tackle. We don't have the number. Just is not fair. Before next week, we'll have to go up and, you know, if you're going to change the roster, at least give it to the, you know, put it on the back of the, the pier one or something. Pitch back. Running back. Ooh, ran right over a north tackler. Uh, Lucas Reynolds showing good power. And uh, I believe he had enough for a, no, he didn't have enough for a first down. Only picked up two yards. He's a junior. I wonder if his brother was Ben Reynolds. He was a nice ball player. Foot for, baseball you're talking about, right? For, yep. All right, third down and one. And quarterback uh, pulled the ball out and kept it. That was uh, James Zarin. Two minutes left, Marty. Be back here next week. Preble coming into tonight only had two conference wins. Two two wins. They were playing South tonight. So we'll see how that fares out. Saw some nice things today by North on the offensive side. Defense was at times okay, but they had a tough task ahead of them. Oh no. It's gonna be a long run for that kid. Harris takes it Hunter to the Harris. house. Hunter Harris. Uh, that's that's too bad. But uh, at times, North did some things today that can build on, so. That was a 41 yard run. Made some good strides on offense, and again, when you're playing an offensive line like the Pier had, it was just a, and a 6'2", 200-pound running back. Hey, look at this. 
They're kicking an extra point. Up and good. That was by Rubis. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, and now that I think of it, watching the pregame warm-up, he was kicking them. You know, and he that was kicking good. them long. Yeah, he was, I mean, there's no doubt that he can kick the ball. It's amazing they didn't uh, do that all game. They were aiming for 35-point lead at the half. I, that's, I'm pretty sure of that. That's why they were going for that touchdown with less than a minute left, even though they had a gigantic lead the way it was. Oh, boy. There's the fourth quarter. Onside kick. <laughs> Lindahl takes it inside the 10. He's got a head of steam. He ran into his own blocker and uh, gets knocked down outside the 25. First and 10 Raiders. Watch him, watch him run. Little head and shoulder fake. Who's in that quarterback? Lindo? No. Oh. That looks okay. like it is. Lindo. Hayden Herman is the uh, running back. We still have Green out here at uh, wide receiver. Inside handoff to Herman, trying to bounce it to the outside. Gets taken down at about the 28, maybe a gain of one or two. Clock running, 25 seconds left. Last play. Yep. Arneson in the backfield, he gets a handoff. Keeps his balance, gets it down or up to the 30, just over the 30, and that'll be the ball game. Give Arneson again a two, and that's it. Chris? Well, quick comments. Well, as I mentioned just about a minute ago, saw some positive things on offense. Defense played better at times, just a little bit outmanned today. But the Piers are a good team. They're big, and uh, just a little bit outmanned tonight. All right. With that, I uh, want to thank the crew, Scott Mailoff, our director, giving you all those great replays during the course of this game. Uh, Richard Bartson up on the top camera, Eric Wiesman on the field camera for my partner Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and uh, we'll see you next week when the pier, uh, pardon me, when Green Bay Preble plays up here at North.